Hello and welcome to Dora CCTV. In this video we will show you two different ways of using IBM S4200 software. First through the local IP address. And second option to add HIC Connect account into software. On the computer first we need to download IBM S4200 software. You can find the link on our website at doraccctv.co.uk. Once you are on our website, click on Technical, then click on Software and Tools. From the list you can select IVM S4200 software. We have the software for Mac and PC. Once you clicked on the link, it takes you to Hikvision website and you can download IVM S from here. This might take few min, so we will skip the downloading. Once the software is downloaded, you can install it on your PC. Just click on Accept Terms and Condition and go to the next page. We install the software with default settings. OK, once the software installed, click on Finish. Software should be running automatically. This is just to enable notification for new update. Now you can create a new username and password. Password should be 8 to 16 characters. Mixed of number, lowercase, uppercase and special character. Also, password should not contain the username. On this page, you can answer three different questions in order to reset your password in future. Once it's done, you will see the main panel of IVM S4200. You can click OK to go through the wizard page. We will close the wizard settings. On the right hand side of the panel, we have device management. When you click on it, it will take you to this page. From here you can click on online devices. Bottom of the page you can see all the local Hikvision devices with IP addresses. Please note if you are adding your devices this way, you can only view the cameras while you are connected into the local network. That means if you leave the premises you will not have access anymore. We will also show you another way of adding the cameras, where you can get access to the camera from anywhere. You can find the device you wish to add by the model number. Once you find the device, select it and click on Add Icon. Then give a name into the device. That is optional name. We use local device as a name. Then type in the DVR or NVR username and password. And make sure import to group is enabled. Then click on Add. As you can see, device is added here and status showing online. If status is not showing online, move the mouse cursor over it to read the error message. To view the cameras running, click on the square box on the top left hand side. Then click on main view.
On the left hand side of the screen as you can see local device is added. You can click on view all cameras in group. There you go. All cameras showing up on the screen. Because we did not connect any cameras yet, you see the no video image. OK now camera is connected for our test. If you click on the three dot here, you can select the first option to view all the cameras at once. Or you can click on the little arrow next to local device and select the cameras individually. Just double click on each channel number to view the cameras. If you click on the three dot next to the camera, you can check some of the settings such as modify camera name, camera status, remote configuration, stream type and other settings. In order to close any cameras, move the mouse over the channel you wish to close it and just click on the cross mark in the corner. And then click on the play icon to view all the cameras. Another option you have here is to adjust number of channels showing on the screen. You can modify that by 1, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Now let's close all the cameras and we will show the second way of adding the DVR or NVR into the IVM S4200 software. First click on Maintenance and Management tab. And from here click on Cloud icon on top of the screen. Select the country. And click on OK. Now you need to have your HIC Connect account details ready. We already made another video how to set up HIC Connect account. But we will show you briefly how to add the device. On the DVR or NVR right click on the mouse and select System. Then click on Network. And then Advance. From here select Platform Access. Make sure that the device status is online. Please note you will see two QR code here. On the on the right hand side if to scan it with your phone and download the HIC Connect app. The one on the left hand side is the one you can scan it with HIC Connect app in order to add your device. On the phone open the HIC Connect app and log in. Click on plus icon, top right hand corner. Then scan the QR code showing on the DVR. Once you scan the device model number will appear. You can click on add and then click on next. On this page you can change the name. We will keep the model number and add test at the end of the name. On this page you can authorize installer, but we will skip this page. Now you can see our new device has been added successfully into our HIC Connect account. In order to find username, email address or phone number associated with your HIC Connect account, click on More and click on the account. Once you know your account details you can go back to IVM S4200 on your PC and type in the login details. OK, let's go back into the computer and type in the HIC Connect account username and password. Once you are logged in all the devices that already been added to the account will appear here. And this message pop up, saying once you are logged out, the device will be removed from the software. As you can see all our devices are added into the software. You can check all the name for devices here. Now let's click on main view and find the test device we are looking for. The first device is the one added via local IP address and second device is added via HIC Connect account. Our test DVR device is here. 
In order to play the camera you can click on play icon. You can drag and drop camera into a different window. If the verification code is enabled on the DVR, you will see this message. This video is encrypted. Input the stream key to view the video. In this case you need to type in the verification code. We go back to the DVR and enable the verification code and show you what to do. Ok, we're back to DVR page. Under Network Settings, Advanced you can see the platform access. The verification code is here. You can click on the eye icon to make the character visible. All you need to do is type in the code into IVM S4200 software. Let's go back to the PC and test it. Once you type in the code, the view picture come up. You can select the other camera and the code should be already there. Just need to click OK. If you have too many devices same as us, you can create a group for each device. To do that click on Maintenance and Management page. Click on Group. And then click on Add Group. Give a name to the new group. We just call this group test. And you can click on import to add the different cameras from your device into the group. In this video we only select two cameras from our test device. Now let's go back to main view. If we close our old device you can see here new group added under test name and it has only the two cameras we selected. Thanks for watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.